Okay, you guys, this week we're going to continue our unity and variety and repetition. And we're going to make these fun cat drawings. Mine's not traced in Sharpie, so I hope you guys can see that, okay? They're going to have lots of cute little faces. You can be creative with that. But our repetition, just like last week, is going to be our stencil, okay? Now I'm going to draw mine in Sharpie. You're going to draw yours in pencil, so if you make a mistake, you can erase Last week, we went this way. This week, I'm gonna go, um, this is called portrait, and this is called landscape. I'm gonna go portrait. You don't have to do that. You can certainly do it landscape if you want to, and I'm doing portrait. I'm gonna leave a little space on my edge. We're not going edge to edge. And then also, last week, we did each pencil, like, so that they completely touch. This week, we're gonna have some overlapping as well. So we're using repetition, just kind of in a different way. So I'm gonna draw a couple of cats, or like three cats that are gonna be kind of in front, and then two cats that are gonna be behind. You can draw more, you can draw less, but I think five is a good number. So you're gonna trace your stencil and do them different heights. So this is our repetition. We're using the same shape for our cats. And then we're gonna make them kind of different colors and different faces and personalities. Okay, so now I have three cats. So I'm gonna do one cat here and he's gonna go, or she is gonna go kind of above these two, but it's not gonna go through. So this will be the bottom of this cat, okay? But I'm not gonna draw it straight through. They're overlapping. So I'm gonna draw the top of the cat down to the tops of these cats. And then this is still part of this cat, okay? But I don't have to draw it straight down because it's behind these two cats. So same thing here. I'm gonna draw the top of this cat and it touches the tops of these cats, but it doesn't go through. Okay, so now you get to do some fun stuff and you get to do some fun cat faces. So I have every cat face that I drew on here on this worksheet and then I also have some extras. And then you can also do um, others that you can think of. It's okay to have some silly cat faces or have them looking at each other or something. So like, for example, I really like these two looking at each other. This one looks kind of mean, doesn't he? So, and you're gonna draw this in pencil and trace it in Sharpie, but I'm gonna draw this face like this. And you don't have to give them eyebrows, but you can. I feel like a devilish little smile. And then I'm gonna draw this one down at that one and look I messed up okay and that's why we're drawing in pencil not sharpie and I really like how this looks but I'm just gonna roll with it sometimes you just have to roll with it he's gonna be kind of a frown like what is this guy thinking so they can look at each other um, you can do whiskers they can stick out or they can be in the face up to you on mine all my whiskers stuck out okay you can do cute faces whatever you want so you guys draw your faces and then come back and we'll start painting okay so here are my cats all right so we have our unity our shape is our unity and they're all cats okay and then we have our variety they have different faces and you're gonna paint them different colors okay so you're gonna get watercolors to paint with today this is watercolor paper or yours will be, mine is not, but yours will be, okay? Um, you will also have watercolors with more colors. I'm just using these. I'm not gonna do my background. I'm gonna leave that white, and I want you to leave yours till the end and only do it if you have time or if you want to. You do not have to, okay? And then we're gonna paint each of these cats a different color. Now, we want our colors to be light, so I'm gonna make sure I have plenty of water on my paintbrush 
and I'm gonna be careful. You're gonna get a smaller paintbrush today and you're just gonna make sure you're spreading your paint out everywhere. Okay, if you get it too dark, you just add a little bit more water to it and spread it out. And yours will spread a little bit easier than mine because you have watercolor paper. Now you could do rainbow if you had six. You could do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then maybe violet, and I might still do that. But you can also just do it willy-nilly or whatever you want. I do kind of like the rainbow, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so all we're doing is watercoloring our cats very carefully. You're choosing one color per cat. We're not making them a bunch of colors. One color per cat. That's the assignment. Whatever colors you want, but one color. Light colors. Okay, you guys go paint your cats and then come back. Okay, so here are my cats when they're done. And I know I said if you want to paint your background, you can. Um, I really recommend you don't. And just like last week, we had that high contrast with the black. This week, we're gonna have that high contrast with the white. Okay, so if you wanna do something in the background, maybe like a pattern or a couple of little things, like some little hearts or something like that would be cute, but probably not um, like just fill your background with a solid color. We want that contrast with these. I love the watercolors with the white background. If you spill in your background some color, a good way to blend it in might be just to add some more. So like I might, if I had spilled some red or something, I could come through and do something like this, maybe with a color that you didn't use, like I didn't use purple. So something like that might blend it in, but ask me before you do anything in your background, okay? I really like that white background. All right, you guys, can't wait to see these. They're gonna look so good. <laughs> 